Good morning, folks. Today we're going to hit solar storm records and comparisons. We'll look at plant productivity and rain changes. And of course, we've got sunspots, solar flares, eruptions, and more as we begin, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star. Things were mostly quiet until a few hours ago when flaring levels remained in C-class range, but the plasma filament we saw starting to dance yesterday morning, and located nearby, has indeed lifted and released. We're going to take a bit closer look at that event and then the sunspots, and here we are zoomed in on the filament. After a modest flare, the destabilization went over the tipping point and the plasma filament erupted. It did so somewhat out to the right, ahead of Earth's orbit. The bulk of this one is definitely going to miss the Earth as we see here on SOHO. Meanwhile, we're left with really only one sunspot group to monitor. We've watched the progress of the active regions, and here today we're seeing the original two groups beginning to depart just the one in the Earth-facing position and a smaller group growing behind it. We've got eyes open there. Up first in the links today is this, a story about rain pattern changes and plant responses, including a relatively new fluorescence measure that satellites are capturing over the day and night phases. Our world is changing, getting wetter in general and also getting greener. Up next, a look back at the April 2023 solar storm. It was one of the first solar storms after the record magnetic anomaly the month before, and it kicked off this recent trend of moderate space weather and solar activity triggering outsized auroral displays. It is doing so because the magnetic pole shift is leaving Earth more and more vulnerable. So, in that same vein, an excellent new study is ranking the top auroral events with geomagnetic storms in recorded history. This is what we've been looking to describe for the last 18 months. And in their chart, you see the biggest solar storms of the last 200 years. The May 2024 event is ranked third on the list. That April 2023 event is down there at 15th. But what I need to impress upon you is what happened in April of 2023 shouldn't be in the top 100 events. And the solar storm from May 2024 shouldn't be in the top 20. The solar flares and CME shockwaves were 5, 10, 20, up to 50 times stronger in different previous events, but when Earth's magnetic field was much stronger. Now, we're seeing mild to moderate events ranking up with the biggest of all time. It's the number one indirect indicator that Earth's magnetic field is failing and that we're heading into the pole shift. Folks, tomorrow afternoon, the next issue of Observer Review will come out. What a great volume this month with several key science studies and context. The link to sign up is below. It is the best way to support the observers. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.